I think that people seem to associate refugees with moments of crisis, you know, the ones that make the headlines, like say the Syrian refugee crisis back in 2015. The fact is that uh, refugees continue their status long after the conflicts leave the headlines. And we have the highest refugee count ever right now, around 70 million people around the world that have no home to go back to. And it's not, the situation is not getting any better. We need to find ways to resettle these refugees, to give them hope, find them jobs, provide an education for their children, and basically provide them a future. And the fact is that this pandemic, if anything, is making the situation worse for refugees. Obviously, when, when a crisis hits at home, um, the tendency is for people to look inward. And, you know, that's understandable. People are concerned about the, their own jobs, the economy. But the fact of the matter is this is this is at the time when refugees need us the most. And uh, I think the risks of inaction are um, a humanitarian catastrophe in places where there is no health infrastructure, in places like Idlib and Yemen that have already suffered from cholera and polio outbreaks. And you see what's happening and with the Venezuelan refugees needing to cross borders uh, with these borders closed and the um, inadequate uh, food supplies in Venezuela and a health system that's broken down. Um, if, if we get an outbreak in any of these areas, it's going to be catastrophic. And, and like I said earlier, it's, it's the places that are least equipped to handle a pandemic.